okay. forget the official sound drop for this one, but we're going to go to... Uh, Standout performance. That's what it was. Standout performance. All right, I'm going to go first. I take it. Go. I had two guys I was eyeing, but I'm, I, I'm giving it to Kyle Hendricks. Nice. Complete game shutout on opening day for your Cubs. I mean, the professor out there. He's got more... Uh, velocity now. His velo's up, mm. but he's still tricking him with that two seamer, sure. that sinker. I mean, just nasty. Started at the nasty hit. pitch. I think out of the nine innings he pitched, he had six, one, two, three innings. I don't think he ever faced five batters in an inning. So at max, only one guy got on base. And you know what the best part about this is? Talk about making the debut easy for the manager. You got a brand new yeah. manager. It's his first game ever. No decisions. There was actually a moment in the uh, in the last inning where Rossi came out for a mound visit with one batter left, mm. and Kendricks was like, I think they were saying, like, this is your last guy, and Kendricks was like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. One mm. more guy? My last guy? Okay, fine. Done. And then he gets the ground out. I'll get him out. I mean, you see how many ground outs he had? Like, no. the ninth inning, three ground outs. The eighth inning, three ground outs. Seventh inning, two ground outs. <laughs> Just all ground outs, man. The fifth inning, one, two, three inning, three ground outs. He did strike out the side in the fourth, which is crazy because it was Yelich, Keston, and Smoke struck out the side. Uh, I don't know. Just very, I mean, a staff that people are a little weary of, but just shoved. Yeah, I, I overlooked Hendricks a little bit, and now if he's got a little extra on that fastball. I mean, that just helps. Everything he does, he was a great pitcher without it, with, with a like 88 mile per hour fastball. Now he's touching 94, so we'll see if those punches can come it out. Was, he was in, he was in position to get a Maddox too. A complete yeah. game shutout, less than 100 pitches. But Arcia opened up the ninth with a single, and then uh, Yelich had a seven pitch at bat versus him. Damn which, it! Which, so that's why I think Rossi came out was like, "Hey, you broke 100. Now it's opening day. Right. This is a little tricky. Hopefully, this doesn't." Linger, and then people are yelling like, "Oh, you ruined Hendricks for the next couple starts just because you wanted the complete." Right. You know, you can't do that. But uh, I mean, awesome! That is easily, easily my standout performance. I have it locked in, locked. And oh, I think the the maybe bigger thing for some baseball fans is I think the over under on starting pitcher complete games this year was one and a half in Vegas. So Kyle Hendricks, one more. You got 10 starts to go complete game, my man. Just one? They didn't think anyone would get two? No. I think I think it was the Vegas number. Um, That's cool. Which is just an interesting way to think about it. And, yeah, man, if Hendricks can pump that, uh, big for the Cubbies, big for him. Have a year, kid. Go get it. Go shove. Who's your standout performance? My standout performance, there was a couple pitchers that absolutely shoved, and I didn't pick them oh. um, because they shoved against lesser teams, and the pitchers are ahead right now. So, I jump back to my guy, Jose Ramirez. He hits two yackers yesterday for the Indians to help close out the series. Four RBIs, four runs. And I think more importantly, I was looking for guys that are going to impact this season. And, you know, I know we've been talking Lindor trade rumors, but it seems like that would be a whole thing, uh, especially with how the season's going already. Man, if Jose Ramirez is right, if he's the Jose Ramirez who put up MVP numbers the second half of the season, if he's the Jose Ramirez who's finished, I think, top five in the MVP voting twice uh, with Lindor, who was making crazy plays on defense this weekend and just being Frankie Lindor, you know, if he's right, the Indians are not necessarily contender to the degree of, you know, Yankees, Dodgers, blah, 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 expected contender, but they are in it. You can lose a playoff series to them if Jose Ramirez is right. So I give it to him. Uh, that's what I've been saying. If their top guys are firing, and they're all their pitchers did. And they were. Yeah. He also got hit by a pitch. You didn't even mention that. Yeah, he liked it. He oh, was, okay. Well, he liked the pain. It was in the middle of a rally, so I think he, he liked didn't. the pain, but he was mad that he couldn't get more RBIs. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He got a hit in every game as well, which I think is always good. Like, he contributed Contribute. every game. Contributes. I that. think his first at bat was a double, maybe. Sure. I don't know. But yeah, that's a good that's a good standout performance. Yeah. I think there's one guy that got snubbed. He was gonna be my second, but you can only give two. You can only give two. That's why and and you're right, and I think he's gonna be mentioned in our next segment. So okay. 